Hello. For the next 10 minutes, I'll show you how to check out the code for HTML form entry module from GitHub and use it through IntelliJ. Considering all of us have a GitHub account, go to the URL github.com slash your username which will load your project dashboard. Search for OpenMRS. You can see OpenMRS user here. Click on OpenMRS user. You can see list of repositories under OpenMRS. Click on OpenMRS module HTML form entry which is HTML form entry module. Now you can see the project here. Fork the project so that you can copy this project directly under your username. Fork to your username. Once the forking is completed, you can see the project is under your repository right now. Once you fork the repo, you need to clone this repo into your local machine to work on this project. You can check out the code from version control using this particular plugin. So click on check out from version control, select GitHub and follow the process from here. Enter the username and password and check out the code from GitHub. But I prefer using terminal rather than using IntelliJ to check out or clone the project. So let's see how to clone the project from terminal. What you can see, when, once I logged in into my dashboard, I can see OpenMRS module HTML form entry, which we forked from OpenMRS. I'm clicking on this. I have a URL through which I can clone it into my into my local machine. Copy the clip, clipboard. I'm going to the terminal. Select in a folder where you can check out the code. I'll go to my projects and I say git clone this. It will start cloning the project. It will download the project into this particular folder. In the process it might ask you for the password. Enter the password if it is not already done. Once you check out the code, it, it might take some time based on uh, the size of the repository. Now you can see the code is downloaded from GitHub. Once the code is downloaded, go to your IntelliJ and open the code through IntelliJ. So I'm going to open project. I'll select my projects. Add something called OpenMRS module HTML form entry. Maven modules are automatically recognized by IntelliJ. So directly click on POMXML and the project will be loaded into your system. It will take a minute to load the project and add all the indexes for all the class files for the faster access. One thing to remember is all the files in IntelliJ will be auto-saved. So once you edit the code, you need not press Ctrl S or Command S. It's, all, it's always auto-saved. It will create something called uh, facets. Uh, facets are nothing but uh, it identifies your Spring and Hibernate and it asks you to create the facet. Once you create the facet, it would be useful for you to navigate between the XML file, might be the Hibernate XML or a Spring XML to the corresponding class files. So you can navigate between beans and the corresponding class files. So I'm going ahead and creating the facets. Just for the information, it will not create any uh, files into your into your local repository it actually stores them inside the IntelliJ IDEA folders. So now you can see the project is loaded. I am clicking on the project at the extreme left hand side here. This is how it looks. I have API OMOD here. Let's do some let's do uh, look at some IntelliJ shortcuts to load the project and uh, refactor some code inside the project. All the commands from now, whatever I'm saying from now, uh, might map to, will map to command when you're working in Mac. So control is equal to command when you are working in Mac. So once the project is here, so let's open the class. You can open a class by using control N. I'm trying to open 
HTML, you can use regex here, similar to control shift R of Eclipse. So I'll try to open HTML form entry util. Once I open this, you can see the class here, the lot of content here. Similarly, you can open the files which are non-Java files using control shift N. So when you con when you do a control shift N, you can just search for JSPs. You can see list of JSPs here. Fine. Let, let us refactor this class, this particular method here, create ops method. Let's start with a small thing. I, I want to rename the field uh, that is DT. So the command to rename a method, a field or a class, whatever it might be, uh, the single command is shift F6. Shift F6 will uh, make you to rename anything inside the class. I, do, I did the shift F6. Uh, it auto suggests some names here. It's suggesting DT data type and concept data type. I go with concept data type. This will change on all the required places. Let's create a method out of it. So I see I can move this method, I can, I can move this particular code into a method. I'm using control alt M, which will create a method, which will extract a method out of this code. I name the code, uh, I name the method as set value text. You can see the method is created and you can go inside, you can go to look into the method using control B. So this is the method. Automatically it's mapped as, it's marked as private and it's extracted to a method, the entire code which you're seeing here. You can use control B or control alt B to jump into a method. Say you are you want to see set value coded method, use control B or control alt B. So the, currently this ops is a class here which is a dependency on uh, OpenMRS trunk, OpenMRS platform. Similarly, let's go into convert to type method. I'm using command B here, sorry, control B. You can see it jumped into the corresponding method. To select a region of code, you can use control W. So it starts with a word and extends its scope. So I just started with ops, and then it extended to set concept. And it in, then it extended to entire line and then now it's extended to method. So use control W to select a piece of code inside your method or a class. So the next control W will gradually increase the scope. Now it selected entire class. You can create a variable using the command control alt V. So this will create a variable for the selected piece of code. So I'm selecting HTML form entry here using command W or control W. And that now to introduce a variable out of it, I'm using control alt V. It's asking for the name. I just said HTML form entry and it created a variable over here. And similarly, I can create a constant out of it. Use control alt C to create a constant from this particular string. So I'm selecting this again. So I'm using the command control alt C now. Now it automatically created the constant HTML form entry and it suggested a name for that also. I can reduce the visibility using this package local protected or anything here. I just kept it as public for now. And that's it. It created the variable and it just brought you back to the method where you are editing. For commenting a line, you can use command forward slash and command shift forward slash. That's how it looks. It commented the line now. Use control shift A to do any kind of action on this particular file. 
So doing a command shift A, you can see it's asking for enter action name. It can be anything. So I just centered a file. It showed me a list of actions which I can do here. So it shows you can you can make a project using F9. You know, rebuild a project, and it showed me uh, various various ways I can what what else I can do on this particular piece of file. So the command is Control Shift A. Similarly, you can use uh, Control F12 to find the structure of your project. Control F12 will show you list of all the methods and all the variables which are being used inside this project. Sorry, inside this particular Java file. You can jump between source code and test code using the command Control Shift T. This will ask you, this will show you the corresponding test file and you can look at the corresponding test file. You can execute the command, uh, you can execute the test using command Control Shift F10. F10. This is now executing the Java test. All the keys, all the shortcut keys can be remapped to a different key in the settings window. In the Go to the files and settings. That will load you something called file settings. Search for key map. This will show you a list of key maps. You can have your own set of key maps. I am defaulting with Mac OS X key map. This will show you a list of all shortcuts which you already have. For example, when I go into interactions and you click on it, it will show you the corresponding command. So move carrot to code block end is command for me. So you can add a shortcut for each of these actions. And you can remap the existing shortcut keys. So as we develop some code now, let's see how to check in the code to the repository. Go to the tab some called changes here. Click on it. You can see there are some changes to HTML form entry util. Click on it. Double clicking on it will give you the file which is being edited. And uh, maybe you can right click and show diff on the corresponding command or the shortcut is control D or command D. You can see the differences here clearly. What are the what are the fields which you edited? So it's give it gives you a clear diff here. Once you feel everything is correct, go ahead and commit the file. Right click and commit. This will ask you to write a meaningful comment here. So for example, I can say refactoring and say introduced meaningful names and methods. Commit will commit it into your local repository. So as Git is a distributed version control system, it has you have your own uh, Git repository with you now. Once you commit, it will be checking into local repository, and then you need to push it to the global repository. So I'm doing a local commit here. This will commit into my local machine. You can look at the git log to see what had been done to the log. I'll go to the project. I'm doing git log here. It shows me our commit here, refactoring, introducing meaningful names and methods. So this particular code is already checked in into your local repository. We need to push this back to the global repository or your GitHub account. Once you are done with your code, it's as simple as giving a command git push. Git push will actually push the code which you have done just now into your GitHub repo. So you can see it currently checked in into the Kishore ID. This is like your username and your module name. Go to the browser. Refresh the browser. You can see your latest commit here. So it's four minutes ago. 
the committee's refactoring introduces meaningful names and methods. What you can do now is just give a pull request. Once you click on the pull request, the corresponding code will be given as a patch to the original OpenMRS module, OpenMRS HTML form entry module for the core committers to look at the code, review the code and then pull it into the mainstream line. You can find real good documentation about IntelliJ shortcuts in this particular location. Look at the URL here. You have very real good ideas about GitHub integration and many other refactoring techniques which you can use with IntelliJ. So definitely go through this site. It's really worth. A list of all the shortcuts can be downloaded as a PDF document which is called uh, IntelliJ IDEA Reference Card. This particular reference card would be really useful for doing any refactoring. Thank you for listening to me. Have a great day.